Jack Mogan, truly a presence at Oratory. In this video, we will be chronicling his daily life and goings on at the school. Mogan starts his busy day off with quite the commute, seeing that he comes from Little Falls about half an hour away by car. Him and his younger brother Luke board the train at MSU, transfer at Newark Broad Street, and then make their way to Summit, Summit Station to be picked up by the Oratory train bus. Once at school, Mogan visits his locker. Inside the locker of the man himself. <laughs> then makes his way towards whatever class, club, or activity is on the schedule for the day. Throughout the day, I interviewed several of Jack Mogan's classmates on him. Cole Noss, what are your thoughts on Jack Mogan? Nothing I have on the Jack Mogan is PG. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Jack Mogan? Oh god, I'm not answering that question. Okay, Owen. What do you think about Jack Mogan? He's annoying. That's all? Your only comment? I don't know. It will, get, uh, it will make yeah. Michael Fisher stay out for like a month. Another there you month. have it, folks. Some of that Mike, Michael Finnan, what do you have to say about Jack Mogan? He's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. I mean, really? sometimes, sometimes, sometimes he's a little, you know, he's a little, have, a little bit of a god complex, but... You're the first one to compliment him all day. Wow. <laughs> Chris McAllister, what do you have to say about Jack Mogan? Um, he's Mogan. That's about it. Like, can you he's, elaborate? He's he's um he's the world's smartest idiot. Quite, quite the compliment. All right, Sud. What are your thoughts on Jack Mogan? <laughs> Jack Mogan. Um, he's, he's, he's psychotic. That I, I, oh he's. Short, very short. I think that should be uh, said. Reminds me a lot of uh, Napoleon. Very impulsive. Loud. Um, I'm better than him. Obviously. You should know that. And uh, short. Yeah, I should be. Yeah, that's right. And with that, he's short. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, sure James Cron, what do you think of Jack Mogan? I think he's just the greatest kid, like, ever. He's like top quality, like 9.5 out of 10. Good stuff. The only better, you know, I think there's like maybe three kids that are better than him, like Miglin, um, probably Miglin again, and... Miglin again? Just Miglin, yeah. Miglin's probably like the only better kid. As you can see, Mr. Mogan has quite the reputation around oratory prep. Next, we find Jack finishing his homework at lunch, then heading across the field back for classes. Mogan will finish up his last classes and any ac afternoon activities before heading home. With a long commute ahead of him, Jack Mogan prepares for another night of homework and whatever other things Jack Mogan's do.